Hello everyone, Alex here from Seeing Solutions again and what I've got to show you today is the Mercury 12. What we've got here is a great bit of kit which is a compact solution for education, for the workplace, for anything you might need to do. It is a magnifier, it's a reading machine and it's a full Windows computer all in one. So I'm just going to open it up here and you'll see what I'm talking about. We have got a Microsoft Surface Pro at the heart of this, which means that it's quick, it's powerful, and it's adaptable for whatever you need to do. If I lift the screen up here, what we've got behind is a light. So that's going to illuminate our table underneath for the magnifier and for the reader. The great thing about the way the Mercury 12 is designed is that it's got the Microsoft Surface Pro at the heart of it. This means that if anything ever goes wrong with the Surface Pro, you can replace it. If you need a bit more power further down the road, get an, an upgraded Microsoft Surface Pro, swap it out, you keep all of your licenses, all of the software, and we can set it back up exactly as you had it before. That means it's gonna last years, and if anything ever goes wrong with it, it can be repaired. You don't need to replace it. That includes all of the hardware on here. All of the plastic bits are 3D printed and they're 3D printed by us here in Nottingham. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to start up the Read Desk software, which is the software that is used for the magnification uh, and for the text reader. So that's an icon on the desktop. It's a Surface Pro, so it's all touch screen. And the other thing I'll do is get out the keyboard that comes with it here so we can uh, have a bit more control over it. Okay, let's get something to read. Got a bit of newspaper here, so we'll put that underneath and find a bit of text. Now, you'll see the text come up on the screen. As with the other Mercury systems, we've got a simple set of controls. So one finger tap will focus in on whatever's underneath there. Two fingers, pinch to zoom, and we can zoom in and out just with a pinch gesture. We can also use the keyboard to zoom in and out with the plus and minus or we have a control panel at the top here. Now on the control panel, you've got everything you might need to do. Again, from the magnification controls, we've got a color control here for changing between all of the enhanced modes. And we've got controls to uh, save and load files. Now, because we're running on a Windows system, everything we save get saved directly to Windows, which means that if you want to capture an image underneath here, or if you want to capture any text, you can just press that button and it's in Windows ready for when you want to use it in a document, use it in an email to send to someone, or if you're writing a report. So let's take a look at the reader next. We get to the reader from the top menu. It's the green icon over on the left. Now I'm just gonna lift the screen up a little bit so that we can get more text underneath and press that green button. What that will do is capture a, an image of what's underneath and start to recognize it. Now it doesn't need an internet connection for that recognition. You can do that completely off grid. Once it's recognized it. Thomas and Mertini. Make your GE even greener yet free corny lockdown has led to a gardening boom. Pruning and grooming our gardens to perfection inevitably generates lots of rubbish. I'll tap to pause and you can see there it's putting a red box around the text uh, that it's reading. Now you can move around with the pinch gesture and your finger to find the bit that you want to read. You can read it on your own or you can tap on a bit of text. Either order a ready-made bin from an online supplier or knock one up yourself from bits of timber. Brick. And tap to pause again. So this is great. We've got all of this text from the document that we can read. Um, it will ignore pictures and read around uh, everything that's there. 
we've got a save icon in the top right hand corner that will save the picture down to my pictures and it will save the text to my documents. They are then in the window system ready for when you need to use them at a later point or you can recall them back into the Mercury software and magnify or read those at your leisure. What else have we got on the top? We've got the camera controls. So the Mercury 12 has two cameras. I'll just turn it so we can see. And we're using the uh, downward facing camera at the moment. If I flick this switch here, it will switch to the front facing camera and you can then see yourself if you need to straighten your tie or put on makeup, whatever you need to do, then this will help you do that. You've got all the magnification uh, options in there as well, but I will save you from that. So what else might we want to do? If you're in a classroom situation or if you're in a meeting or a lecture theatre or something like that, you're going to want to be looking towards the front of the room at the presentation, at if it's a science experiment going on in a classroom, and we've got an easy way to do that. This is the Orion camera. It's a self-contained camera unit which runs off a USB cable. So let's get this hooked up. We've got a socket on the back of the system here and we just put the Orion camera into that and plug the USB cable in. You'll get an audible feedback that that's been recognized and if we drop down the top menu here, we've got a yellow telescope icon. So let's turn that on and we can see the office here in front of us. So we might want to have a look around, see what we are able to read so we can tell what kind of things and what kind of levels the magnification works to. So I'm going to point this around. There's two buttons on the top of the camera and we've got a little poster over here. Let's see what that's about. And there we go. So we've got a little poster here about uh, coronavirus. It's important to know. So we can line the camera up on that. Now, this is similar to lining the camera up on the whiteboard at the front of the room. We want to get it in a position where we don't need to move it. And once it's in position, we can use gestures on the screen to look in at what we're doing. So I'll pinch to zoom on the screen here and we can get a closer look at what is on the picture. We can have a read of it or if there's too much text, we can still use the reader mode to uh, read out any text. We can do this this time by pressing the spacebar. It captures everything that's there and we press the green icon to read any text that's in the image. Help prevent coronavirus. Wash your hands, cover mouth if coughing or sneezing. Keep surfaces, stop shaking, clean hands and hugging, avoid touching your face. Keep a safe distance. The virus spreads and sneeze and cough droplets. So regularly taking the above measures helps reduce the chance of it spread. So I'll tap to pause it again there. So it works in the same way as we were reading before, but with the distance camera. Now, what else can we do with the distance camera? We can, I'll go out of the reader here, have a look at the top menu and we can, on the save menu here, either capture an image with the green icon or below that we can record a video. This is great if you want to capture an entire presentation or a class. It means that you can review that later and take your notes at your leisure. And that's not just for the distance viewing camera. You can also use the capture and record functions with either the downward facing camera or the self facing camera too. So what else have we got? Now we're on the distance viewing camera. We've got a blue icon on the top right, which will allow us to view both cameras at the same time. The great thing about this is we can get an overview of what we're seeing in front of us on the board as well as 
the notes we're taking underneath. So that's the Mercury 12. If you'd like to know a bit more about it, you can book a demo on our website, that's seeing.solutions, or you can read a little bit more about it on there. If you've got any questions, you can head over to seeing.solutions forward slash forum, where you can ask any questions from us or from any existing users who are on there. Or you can give us a call on 0115 981 66 36. That's all I've got for you today. See you next time. Thanks.